when I went into my doctor's office to go over my blood work, he looked at a chart and he said, uh, Susan, this is what I'm most concerned about. Um, he said, if you don't change your eating and exercise habits, he said, you will be a diabetic. He said, this is like a shot over the bow of the ship. Um, you need to prepare for either to change your eating and exercise habits or prepare for the hardships of being a diabetic. And he said, the good news is you still have a choice and you can choose one or the other, but one or the other will happen. And so I tried, I continued to try, you know, the, the same thing I'd tried before and it didn't work. Um, and then I heard about the doctors here that are at Apex and the transformation that had happened with their clients. And so I uh, called up Dr. Alex Roig and, and he worked with me and he showed me why the programs I had been doing weren't working and why I was having all these cravings because I didn't have the proper balance of proteins, carbs, and fats. They were all out of alignment. And so I was craving what my body wasn't getting. And so he uh, found out the foods I liked and he gave me a grocery list for the week um, of, uh, for the meals that, that he would plan out for me. And I took that grocery list to the store and it was foods that I liked. And, and so I was excited about getting them. And, and uh, I also found out whereas normally I would um, maybe have a cup of coffee in the morning and not eat until lunchtime, how that span of time would just sabotage my metabolism and it would tell my body store, 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 um, all during that time where I wasn't eating. And he taught me, okay, well, you need to eat every two and a half to three hours. And that way my body could take in the nutrients and settle, use those. And then it, it would have a window of time where it could burn my stored fat for energy. And then I would eat again and take in those nutrients. My body would settle and then it could burn the fat. And I'd do that all during the day. And it cranked up my metabolism. He showed me how to figure out in order to lose the weight I wanted to lose, how many calories a day are enough? And so I would know how many I needed to burn in order to reach my goal. I would get up in the morning, I'd eat what I was supposed to eat, when I was supposed to eat it, drink my water, burn that amount of calories, and then I was through for the day. I'd accomplished it, I'd had a successful day. And whereas before, when I was going through all the diet programs, and it was, oh my goodness, I've got 50 pounds to lose, um, and that felt insurmountable, this was so attainable, and, and just felt um, so accomplished really quickly. And uh, having the accountability there with the, uh, with the staff, and to be able to go in with questions, and to be able to say, well, I did this, but what about that? And, and is this right? And, and to be able to ask those questions and, and have that accountability and have them be able to say, now what did you eat here? And then how many calories did you burn there? Where I would have to tell them. And uh, it, it gave me that accountability and that support to be able to push me to the point of uh, actually accomplishing what I wanted to accomplish in the beginning.